Right now in Brooklyn, New York, where I live, it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Far too cold a temperature for anyone to survive without clothing. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and I put my clothes back on for legal reasons. I recently got an email from Sheikha Trinity asking me to base an episode around the character Elsa from the movie Frozen. I told her in no uncertain terms, would I base an episode of my series Science Friction, which is about comic book and sci-fi superheroes, on a Disney princess? If you want to ask me to make an episode about a particular character, the correct way to do it is the way John 1138 did, who asked, could we survive extreme cold the way Mr. Freeze does? Or the way Matt Baer replied when he said, don't forget to talk about Iceman, exclamation point, smiley face, wink, emoticon. There's no set temperature that proves deadly to all human beings. There's a number of different factors. Skinny people are more in danger than heavy people. And men are more prone to freeze than women. You can even freeze if the temperature is above freezing if you get wet. You lose heat 25 times faster in water than you do in air. Your normal body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If it drops even just three degrees, you begin to suffer from hypothermia. At 82 degrees, you lose consciousness. Below 70 degrees, you die. Our body temperature is maintained by our autonomic nervous system. This means that we don't control it. We can't tell our bodies to heat up. It happens automatically. When frigid air hits our skin, our blood vessels constrict and blood is pushed away from our extremities and into our core. That's the important part of our body that needs to stay warm. That's why our fingers get numb. The other reaction we have is shivering. Our muscles contract and expand very quickly to produce heat. But what if that wasn't enough? What if we needed to do more than that? Is there a way we could take our body off of autopilot and tell it to take it up a notch? That's what Wim Hof does. Wim Hof holds 18 world records, including the world's longest ice bath. He stayed submerged in ice for one hour, 13 minutes, and 48 seconds. He climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in two days in shorts. Scientists monitoring him have noted that his core temperature actually increases when he's submerged in freezing cold water. And he maintains peripheral circulation. He's able to stop his blood from being pulled away from his extremities so that he doesn't suffer from frostbite. So they've observed proof that Wim can generate great deals of heat and distribute it more efficiently than an average human being. But they don't know how he does it. But Wim says he not only knows how he does it, but that he can train others to do it as well. He practices a form of yoga called Tumo, which is practiced by monks in Eastern Tibet. They use a combination of meditation and breathing exercises to create what they refer to as an inner fire, which allows them to withstand extreme cold. Wim has brought his own innovations to this technique, and it seems to have borne fruit. Where the monks can only produce this state while in meditation, Wim can create this inner fire while running, climbing, or even swimming. It's difficult to say whether Wim's abilities are due to his training or his exceptional physiology. It might be that, like the X-Men's Iceman, Wim is a mutant. He's currently training students in order to prove that anyone can achieve the same feats he has. You can take one of his workshops or read the book he wrote with a student becoming the Iceman. Links for these are below. So that's how you harness the power of Mr. Freeze or Iceman. Okay, Sheikha Trinity? I hope you've come to realize that I don't care whether Prince Eric kisses Ariel or if Aladdin shows Princess Jasmine a whole new world. And, and I was in no way moved when Belle and Beast had an impromptu snowball fight and started singing and there's something there that wasn't there before. And it definitely did not move me when Anna sacrificed herself to save Elsa from Hans, that duplicitous bastard. I, look, just subscribe and if, if, to check out some of the previous episodes and, and tell me what superpower you want. I gotta go. I gotta go.